As the fight for one of Florida Senate seats gets underway, we are getting a clearer picture of just how much money each candidate has in their war chest and where that cash is coming from. It's just as eye opening. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live to add it all up for us. Glenna. Well, you know, some may certainly come here tonight. This VFW post in West Park is where Val Demings and a lot of the other Democrats are going to come on a campaign stop. The money is flowing and this Florida Senate race, Marco Rubio versus Val Demings is so high profile because of such national issues and of course because of the divided Senate. The Democratic nominee for the U.S. Senate. <laughs> Even before officially clinching that spot, Congresswoman Val Deming's cash haul seemed eye-popping. You guys ready to win in November? Yeah! Senator Marco Rubio even telegraphed that in TV interviews. We are being outraised by these far-left Marxists uh, who continue to give her, you know, 50 bucks a month or whatever a week. In the most recent fundraising cycle, Rubio took in $36 million. Demings raised $48 million. But that snapshot does not give the big picture. I need people to help me, but she's raising all this money from all these ultra liberals who want to ruin Florida, by the way. Despite Rubio's recent fundraising appeals and the recent tallies, look at this. His campaign's cash on hand is almost double Demings. And where it comes from tells a story. Both receive donations from individuals and from political action committees. Demings has more than twice Rubio's number of those smaller grassroots contributions this cycle. She votes with Nancy Pelosi. Rubio spent a million three for airtime this week and next. As chief, I showed up every and Deming's ad on repeat in many markets helped her amp her name recognition statewide, which does not yet match Rubio's. Actually, the poll numbers out today, new poll numbers, does give Val Demings a little bit of a lead over Rubio, but that is an outlier poll so far, actually done by the same uh, UNF, which was the outlier poll for Nikki Freed, which you know turned out to be wrong. But all the other polls so far does give Senator Rubio the lead to have a third term in the U.S. Senate. But we are 11 weeks away, and it's going to be a long and expensive term. I'm Glenna Milbury, live in West Park tonight. Local 10 News. Yeah, that's going to be one big price tag. Okay, thank you so much.